Hi, my name is Chuck Taylor. I'm a professor here in St. Clair Community College. Tonight we're in the high performance fabrication class. Uh, we have a project that we're working on. We're going to be building a roll cage. This will be the first time that we actually had a project we had students going in and working on uh, that we hope to be able to put on the track in the future. Uh, in the other high performance programs, we'll be using the same vehicle. We'll build an engine for it. We'll build a drive lane for it. So we'll do a transmission, dry shaft, rear end. First stage is uh, just starting where we are and build a cage and go from there. So what we do is we'll, we'll take the measurements of the dimension of our actual roll cage. Once we have the dimensions of the roll cage of where the bends need to be, then we'll enter those into a computer program. We'll tell us where to start our bends and how to bend the tubing. After we've entered our dimensions into the bend calculator software, it gives us the start point of each bend. So now we'll take our piece of tubing and measure out each start point and then bend the tube from there. All right, now since we have our tubing marked, we can put it in the tubing bender and start our bends. When we start bending, we want to make sure that the line is lined up with the beginning edge or the leading edge of the shoe. Next step is we need to take out the slack between the actual follow bar and the roller. Okay, now since we have a little bit of tension in our tube, we're going to stand the tubing bender up so we can measure our angle at what we're bending. We need to level this bar off so then we can measure the angle of the tube that we're actually being bent. So the next step is to push some shims underneath here and get this bar level. So now, with the tubing being level, we can actually, with a protractor, measure the actual angle as far as how far we bend it. So as we bend it, this will change and we can measure the angle that we want to bend. All right, once we've achieved the angle that we need for the first bend, we'll take the tubing out of the bender, slide it down to our next mark, and then make that bend. We'll continue that on for the four bends that we'll have for this rear main hoop. Hope you enjoyed our short demonstration on how to calculate and bend up a main hoop for a cage. Come back next week when we'll be tacking the cage in the car.